What is going on YouTube? Kerno here and welcome back to another PSO2 video. So I just wanted to do a quick little PSA for you guys. This video should be fairly short. This is just talking about the DLSS feature that is set up currently in PSO2. So it looks like the file that's being used for DLSS is a little bit out of date. Now, usually the file gets updated and is usually shipped out with game updates and things like that. But currently the one that's being used is a version one of that file and it has been updated. Other games like Diablo 4 or uh, I'm trying to think of another game off the top of my head. I had one before the recording started. But anyway, these different games do ship with the different versions of the DLSS update. And currently it's just not up to date. Now, they are people have been posting about this file itself and, you know, of course, media sharing the file. You can just pull the file from another one of your games that uses DLSS. That's why I mentioned Diablo 4 specifically. The most recent, um, I think they're uh, not their beta test, but like their stress test has the file in it. So any game that you play currently that has an updated DLSS file, you can pull it from there. I've gone ahead and pulled the file itself down since I use DLSS and it works perfectly fine. But this is technically a media share site. So if you're not someone who feels really comfortable with that, by all means, don't worry about that too much. I do want to go ahead and show you guys how this works really quick in case you are someone who just isn't super computer savvy and you want to go ahead and give this a shot and aren't sure exactly how to uh, to get this to work for you. Um, Occasion says, so you can go here, download the day's DLSS, drag and drop into your PSO2 folder and replace the old one. Benefits, no more strobing lights when walking and a huge increase in FPS. Huge is, uh, I mean, it depends how good your FPS was before this. Um, so I mean, I was already doing pretty well as it starts and it only was a minor you know, bump for me. It was more about consistency than anything else. Like I don't have to deal with any, as many dips now. Uh, but as you see, you can see here, they kind of go through and mention this. So yeah, FSR is in a drop in DLSS, blah, blah, blah. They kind of talk about it here. I want to say, I recommend downloading version 2.3.1 doesn't work for you. So yeah, it shows, they basically talk about a couple of different things here. Yeah, so the Diablo 4 server slam has the latest one. Cyberpunk has a good one as well. Um, and then of course you can just go through that. This is basically just a legit site that a lot of people in the, P in the PC community uses, but it's up to you for whether you want to go through it. Go ahead and click here, it'll take you over to the site. You can see the NVIDIA DLSS.dll file. This is the 3.1 version, 3.12, uh, 3.11 it looks like. There's an older version of what, yeah, 2.51 as well. So it just depends on what works best for you. I would say just give it a shot, see how it runs. Um, I pulled the 3.11 file. I'm actually going to pull the 3.12 file really quick here just to show you guys how it works. So let me go ahead and download that and I'll be right back. I oh, forgot to mention, you end up having to take one of the, you have to pick one of these servers basically to download from. Just one that's closest to you and then later ones. It's kind of how these media share, media share sites work. All right, so here we are with the file itself. You can see how it's set up currently. It's a zip file. Uh, I'm just gonna use, what is it, WinRAR? Yeah, WinRAR to go ahead and open it up. And there's the file that we're looking for, the dlss.dll file. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my installation of PSO2, which I'm playing on the Steam version, so it's gonna be in Steam. If you're playing on a different version. You just wanna find out where your file is. If you have like a shortcut on your desktop, an easy way to do that is just to right click the shortcut and click go to file location. It'll take you right over there, so. Either way, we're gonna go to local. I believe it's, yeah, program files x86. Steam, Steam apps, common, and there it is. You're basically looking for this file here, or the bin file itself, and then let's pull back up the download. Oh, hang on, this is what we're looking for. And then we can just drag this directly in. I wanna replace the file that's in here, and then we're good to go, and then we're gonna go ahead and load up the game and see how things run. All right, so here we are in game. Again, this only is affected to you if you actually use DLSS and if you've never seen the setting at all, you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card, scroll into graphics, scroll down to DLSS, which is right over here. And I have mine set to balance, but you can have your set to whatever you prefer. Performance, if you wanna make sure that of course you have a, uh, a smooth experience as much as possible. Uh, quality, if you're, you know, your game is making sure that you wanna make sure everything looks as cool as it possibly can. Uh, auto let it switch between the two of them or just you know off and go through the settings on your own i leave it on balance there's one for amd as well uh there isn't any sort of you know issues with the amd version apparently again this is not the situation where there's a problem with this version of the file so if you're someone who just doesn't trust this sort of stuff by all means leave it as is you're perfectly fine uh, likely this will be updated in the uh the ngs version 2 release it's just the file is available now and hasn't been updated for quite some time apparently so 
players have seen it, they've found it, and they are now offering something else that's available there. I know there's some people probably concerned about, oh, well, you know, it's against TOS. Technically, um, Sega games, modding them is not against TOS, but what they ask is you do not include anything that is against TOS on its own, right? So things that would be against TOS, things like uh, mature content and um, copyrighted content would be against TOS to adding them in. So keep that in mind because technically changing a file is some form of modification. So you could argue that it's a mod, but it doesn't actually affect the game. As long as you're not cheating, adding in anything that's copy against copyright or um, adding anything explicit, then you're usually good to go. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this is helpful to someone out there. If you have any questions, feel free to toss in the comments below. Maybe you found a link on your own that you want to go ahead and use. Do not toss that in the comment. I'll be leaving the link in the video description uh, for the site that we used for this here. And again, I've already grabbed this information on my own. So in case anything else comes up that, change, uh, that changes this, I'll either you know, toss a pinned comment in the video itself, update the title in some way, shape or form or anything along those lines. So just keep an eye out for that. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to keep up with more. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Peace out.